good morning students we have done uh, we have started the revision of percentage yesterday today we will do the further revision of chapter number 8 percentage question number 1 of assignment 2 requires convert the percent to fraction we have done the conversion yesterday and we knew that whenever percent is converted into fraction we have to multiply sorry we have to divide by 100 and we'll remove the sign of percentage. So over here 71 percent means 71 out of 100 and we'll remove the sign of percent. 16.8 percent means 16.8 divided by 100. Part C is 23 percent it means that 23 divided by 100. Question number 2 of assignment number 2 requires express the first quantity as a percentage of the second quantity. You have to express the first quantity as a percentage of the second quantity whenever a quantity has to be expressed as a percentage of another quantity. You should remember three rules. Rule number 1 is that the units of both quantities should be same. Like in part A, the quantity which is given to you, there are two quantities, 20 grams of 4 kg. Now, one quantity is expressed in grams, whereas the other quantity is expressed in kilograms. Either you will convert grams into kilograms or kilograms into grams. We know that there are 1000 grams in uh, 1 uh, kilogram. So, 4 kilogram means 4000 grams. So, you will convert kilograms into grams, 20 grams of 4000 grams. This is the first step of expressing a quantity as a percentage of the second quantity that the units should be same. You have to make the units same. If the units are different, you cannot find out the, uh, you cannot express a quantity as a percentage of the second quantity. Then the next step. The first quantity and the second quantity both should be written in the form of a fraction. The first quantity will be the numerator, like 20 grams will be the numerator and the second quantity will be the denominator. So 20 by 4000, you have to make the fraction. Once you have made the fraction, in order to find the percentage, we know that we multiply the fraction by 100%. So the fraction will be multiplied by 100%. Two zeros will be cancelled by two zeros. This zero will be cancelled by this one. So one by two percent or zero point five percent. So whenever you are expressing the first quantity as a percentage of second quantity, first of all the units should be same. The second step is to convert the quantities into fraction and the third step is to multiply the fraction by 100%. Whenever you have to find out the percentage, the fraction will be multiplied by 100%. Part B is 200 milliliter of 5 liters. Again, the units are different. So, the liters will be converted into milliliters. We know that 1 liter means 1000 milliliters. So, 5 liters means 5000 milliliters. It means that we have to find out 200 milliliter of 5000 milliliter. 200 milliliter and 5000 milliliter will be written in the form of fraction and then we'll multiply it by 100 percent 200 will be the numerator 5000 will be the denominator and then we'll multiply it by 100 percent then it and then you can solve it further to find out the percentage part c 25 seconds of 3.5 minutes again the units are different so minutes will be converted into seconds and then you will write the 25 seconds as the numerator and 3.5 minutes uh, converted in seconds will be the denominator and then you will multiply it by 100%. You will find out the expression for the uh, first quantity as a percentage of the second quantity. Now come to the question number 3. Find 58% of 750. In this question, percentage is given to you of a certain quantity. And you have to find out that what is 58% of that quantity. It means that 58%, the percentage is given to you. And you have to find out that percentage. We know that 58% means 
58 out of 100. So we can write it in the form of fraction. 58 percent means 58 by 100 of instead of of you are going to write multiply and then 750 dollar you can simplify it 0 will be cancelled by 0 5 to the 10 5 15 is 75 and then it's 29 to the 58 so 29 will be multiplied by 15 and the answer is 435 dollars it means that 58 percent of 750 dollars is actually 435 dollars so the percentage is given to you of a certain quantity and you have to find out that what percent of that quantity means over here part b is 26 percent of 150 liters so 26 percent will be converted into fraction first 26 percent of 150 liters 26 means percent means 26 by 100 of mean multiply and then you will multiply it by 150 liters and you can solve it further to find out the quantity part c is 48 percent of six minutes 48 percent of six minutes 48 percent percent will be converted into fraction of means multiply multiplied by six minutes and then you can solve it further to find out that how many minutes are actually the 48 percent of six minutes 